What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today I got a review of a Tribit speaker and I think it's gonna be a fast one. I know I say that every single time and it ends up being a 10 minute video but I really think this is gonna be a fairly short video but it is super exciting so I don't want to rush into some of the features and the quality of this product. Before we get into this, uh, in this channel I review text gadgets to unboxing reviews and tutorials so if you think you like content like this you might want to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, and when you hit the bell icon, don't forget to change that to all so you'll be notified for all my future videos. So personally, I'm not a big fan of these stationary home speakers. I do have um, uh, my Apple HomePod. I don't even use that much, but I am a sucker for a nice Bluetooth speaker. So the only reason I decided to accept reviewing this speaker is because how impressed I have been with uh, previous products from Tribit. In particular, there was this uh, uh, Tribit Stormbot Mini, I think it, it, it's called, that it is extremely impressive. And I was recommending this as the number one speaker under 50 bucks you can get. And then a while ago, I reviewed the Stormbot Pro that it really beat uh, some of the other brands such as JBL and things like that. So uh, I was curious to see what this uh, new speaker is gonna do So anyways, this is uh, an alarm clock. It's a music light FM radio superior sound stereo party and Let's open it up. See what we have So inside the box we have an accessory box. I believe this is where the power adapter is uh, now keep in mind This is not a portable speaker. So it is not uh, battery powered and you do need a brick to be able to constantly power it. We do have a little bit of, uh, of an FM antenna cable that you can plug in in case if the FM reception is not that strong where you live or where your room is inside your house. And we get the product itself and an owner's manual. I'm gonna pull the camera up real quick so we can look at the product, do a quick sound test, and I give you my conclusion. Going around in the front, this is uh, an LCD screen where you get the um, at the time and the alarm clock and things like that. And then you have this dial around the screen. These are touch sensitive buttons. They don't give you any haptic uh, feedback, but once you touch them, that will basically activate. Looking around the clock, this band right here uh, will illuminate. You can have different settings such as solid white, which you can control the brightness to from high to low. You can have it in RGB mode, you can have it uh, looks like sync with the music, or you can have it fully off. Uh, looks like you have uh, a three inch woofer and one uh, Twitter inside. Um, and the bass, I believe, is ported as well, which should help with uh, a little bit of a heavier bass, which trumpet speakers are known for. Let's see, what else do we have? In the back, this is where the power adapter will go. This is your auxiliary. Uh, port and this is um, for um, a micro SD card slot. So you can have different inputs, you can have auxiliary, you can have Bluetooth, you can have FM, or you can have a micro SD card. In the front, you have, or on the side, you have two ports. You have a USB type A and a USB type C. Since this is gonna be stationary and plugged in all the time, you can actually get power out of these ports if you want to charge your phone. So whether you're using USB type C or USB type A, you can charge your devices that way as well, which I think is very convenient. At the bottom, this is where looks like one of these um, watch batteries will go inside as a backup battery for the time. And this is um, for you to set and change the time from 24 hours to 48 hour, uh, 24 or 12 hour formats. And as far as the material, this is kind of like a soft um, uh, fabric. Um, it is textured. You can definitely feel the texture. And that is pretty much it as far as the product. So we're gonna turn it on and look at some of its feature, such as uh, like the white noise um, and the soothing noise uh, or, and, and songs that are built in to the product, we're gonna check out the RGB. My best guess is the power cable is about uh, five feet. 
All right, so it looks like first we have to go through the, uh, the setup sequence. All right, so then it gets into pairing mode. Trip it home speaker, connect. Once you tap the, um, that light bulb icon, you can kind of like go into different modes. So this icon right here, the wave icon, this is where it gives you the white noise. So this could be good for kids if you want to put them to sleep, if you are just tired and you like some, um, some relaxing or white noise to go to sleep, you have that option. Um, so that's pretty much about some of the features of this. And then finally, at the end of the day, this is uh, a Bluetooth speaker. So I want to check its sound quality. One other thing I will tell you, the alarm uh, clock uh, or the alarm features, they get fairly advanced. For example, when you set up the alarm, um, you can select what uh, music you want to wake up to as far as some of the built-in sounds. You can select uh, what color you want um, the, the, the RGB lights to be, if you want red, blue, whatever. So you can kind of like customize the alarm feature. So that is pretty exciting. Uh, it's fairly intuitive, but you can follow the instruction in the owner's manual as well. I'm going to go to artlist.io. That's a sub music subscription I have for my YouTube videos. So I will not get any copyright claim. Get an A for effort, I'm too tired But I'm never giving up, that's why I'm kinda admired Role model, like it or not, I gotta play it Sugarcoat the rhyme sometimes, but still say it Said I was quitting at 40, is just a fib I'm still a kid that's wiping the food off of my bib You ever wanted something so bad that you could taste it? Crying over every opportunity wasted Good and bad news, which one you want first? Either way you pick the bad, still gon' hurt you the worst I never got to bask in the fruits of the label And I never got the cash from that dude from the label I'm just thinking back Alright, so... So you guys heard the music. Obviously it is very bassy, just like how I would expect from any of the Tribute products. Um, at the end of the day, is this worth the money? I think this has a fairly niche audience, right? It is not a portable speaker. It is, a, it is stationary, but it does offer a few features that could be useful for uh, most average consumers. So if you typically charge your devices next to your bed, then you can take advantage of this. So a couple of less bricks you have to worry about. So this will help with uh, some of those charging. If you're one that uh, you would use, um, uh, you like to sleep with some um, music and set a timer for it to shut off and things like that. You like to have a nightlight um, at the side of your room next to your bed. So it does offer all these features. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a high quality speaker. Um, this is not designed for you to have in your living room, essentially. Uh, this is probably more for like your, uh, your bedroom uh, environment. At least that's my, uh, my recommendation. Uh, right now, with the coupons they have at the time I'm recording this video, it's about 60 bucks, and you get a lot of speaker and feature for the money. But it comes down to, are those features right for you or not? And that's subjective. So uh, I don't know how I did with the time, I hope and I think this was a faster and shorter video, but uh, let me know what you guys think. If you got any comments for me, any feedback, how else I can improve my video content or what else would you have liked to see from uh, a product review like this? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.